What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and your boy finally got his hair cut. It doesn't look the best right now because I've been wearing my hat, but trust me, it's short, and I think it looks all right. We're going to put the hat back on. This reverse camera definitely fucks with the hair flow a little bit. It kind of fucks with how I put my hat on, but anyway, we're not here to talk about my hair, but you guys sure like to talk about my hair in the comment section, so let me know what you think about my haircut in the comment section down below. But anyway, today what is this video is going to be about, it's not going to be a crew cast and it's not going to be uh, NFL picks. Instead, it's just going to be kind of a life update because there this week was busy. This was a busy week in the life of Treeb and just everything everything that's involved in my life, I thought I'd come on here, give you guys a little bit of a life update. And um, I know some of you guys don't like this. I know some of you guys don't like it when I step out of the zone of content that I usually make, but I wanted to make this video, so I'm going to, and I'm going to update you guys on what is going down. So let's talk about the bad thing first. I had yet another seizure. That is seizure number three in the last month. Now, I think that basically qualifies me for having epilepsy, I feel like. You know, and it, it's bad because the, the hospital here in Lewiston, like, they're not doing me any favors right now. Uh, they're, I sit down and I tell them what happened. I had a seizure, you know, I got an MRI, I get a CAT scan, get an EEG, all the good stuff that you get when you have a seizure. And they say, oh, we can't find anything, you know, people sometimes just have seizures. And, you know, that's just not good enough for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if that is the reason, like, that that's just not good enough for me. Like, I don't, I don't like that reasoning. Like, give me something. Like, there has to be some reason that these keep happening. And it's not like these are just, like, little seizures where I have consciousness and I, I know what's going on. These are grand mall seizures that I'm having, and I completely black out, have no idea what's going on, forget where I'm at sometimes, and these are serious seizures, but nobody is really sitting down and giving me some help and giving me some direction or anything like that, and it's it's really frustrating um, on my side because it's just like, you know, you guys are doctors, like, you can't find me anything. You can't find me anything or any reason why I would be having these seizures from these CAT scans or these MRIs or these EEGs. You can't tell me anything. Like, it's it's just hard for me. You know, it sucks. It sucks for me because it's like I want to be able to tell you guys why I'm having these seizures. I want to be able to tell, like, my boss at my work why I'm having these seizures. But I can't because no one is giving me any information. Now, this last seizure was probably the most tame as far as physical st strenuousness, you know? Like, it didn't physically hurt me too bad. Um, I wasn't sore. I hurt my shoulder a little bit. I always hurt my shoulder because I'm assuming when I seize, I'm, like, banging my shoulder against something. So, I always hurt my shoulder. But uh, for some reason, like, I, I don't know if you can see that. Like, I cut open cut open my hand and like cut sliced open my pinky like like some of my skin on my pinky just isn't there like I I have no idea how that happened like I don't know if like while I was seasoned I was like scratching myself or something I have no idea but those were the bearings of my injuries from this last seizure but the biggest injury was to my heart because my Mazda my first ever car is totaled and it is gone and now I no longer have old ass kicker. I've had ass kicker my Mazda my 1990 Mazda 626 since 2017. It was my first car and it survived all the way until 2019. There's no fixing it. When I seized I ran into like three cars and thank thank God they were all parked and you know I didn't hit anybody. I didn't kill anybody. Like I've gotten super lucky with the circumstances that these seizures have given me you know it could be way worse um i could be in way worse trouble like i said could have hit somebody could have hit a moving car could have gotten to a way worse wreck instead you know i just sideswiped a couple of um couple of parked cars and i ran right into a truck and completely totaled my mazda and that is rough and it sucks because i loved my mazda i loved ass kicker and now i don't have a rig but it doesn't matter because now i can't drive for a whole freaking year so 
if you have a seizure and you don't go the six months without driving and they find out about it and you have another seizure, especially another seizure while driving, they will make you not drive for a whole year. And trust me, it's not worth it. I know it sucks. It sucks. Like, that's... That's the biggest thing that I have to deal with is not driving and relying on other people to take me from point A to point B. You know, that sucks. It really does. But, you know, it's what you have to do because you could have another freak seizure like I had, you know, and bump into some cars and, you know, end up losing your first car and it's going to suck. Trust me, it is going to suck and it's going to suck really really bad so the seizure was a really low part of this week and you know i'm trying to figure it out uh there is there is some complications as far as like work goes like you know i was really nervous and like i know they can't really do this but i was really nervous that like my work was gonna fire me or something like i was like please just don't fire me because i keep having seizures like please don't do that and you know they didn't and today i didn't I worked from home again today. I didn't go to inside of work today, but I'm going to be going back into work tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to be back in the office. So that's going to be, you know, a good step and a good stepping stone to being back to normal, which is what we all want Troop to be is back to normal. Now let's talk about some good things. Your boy met fucking Gardner Minshew, dog, the day after my seizure on Saturday. Last Saturday, I met Gardner Minshew in person at the Washington State football game, and that Washington State football game was pound for pound the best football game I've ever been to. Uh, Washington State ended up losing, but, you know, a a 32-point comeback with, like, 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, no matter who you are, like, that is awesome, and that's fun to watch live. I wasn't cheering for UCLA. I was cheering for overtime, though. It didn't end up going into overtime. UCLA just came out with the upright victory, 67-63. to Anthony Gordon threw nine touchdown passes, and Wazoo still lost, but... You know, the big story of that Washington State game was me going and getting to meet Gardner Minshew. It was unbelievable, and it was an experience I'll never forget, especially if he ends up being, like, the franchise quarterback and, you know, is the guy of the future, which is he's playing like it. So, you know, he definitely has an opportunity to be that guy. So I'm hoping he does because that moment, I I will never forget meeting Gardner Minshew and, and telling him, like, hey, thanks for making Jags football watchable again. He said, I got you, brother. And I was like, oh my god, this is a Gardner freaking Minshew, like, rolling up to me. Bryce, who's a Cardinals fan, said, I hope you win Rookie of the Year, even though Kyler Murray's his quarterback, you know. We were, we were all excited to meet Gardner Minshew. Colton got a new Tinder picture out of it. Like, I mean, everybody was ecstatic to meet Gardner, and it was a surreal experience, and it was like the first probably famous person I've ever met in person. So, you know, it was... It was fun. It was awesome, and I was very, very excited. I've seen a lot of Jags jerseys there, you know, a lot of Jags Gardner Minshew jerseys. So it looks like, you know, the Palouse is becoming converted Jaguar fans, so that is always awesome to see. So meeting Gardner Minshew was definitely a dope, dope experience, and I would not have changed it or replaced it for the entire world. So I'm glad I ended up still being able to go to Pullman, meet Gardner Minshew, didn't see as well meeting Gardner, that's that's another big thing, I'm happy about that, you know, I managed to get a picture with him, and you know, y'all seen it in the community tab, if you didn't, you know, go over there, you can see it, I uh, met Gardner Minshew, it was super fun, and the Pullman game, uh, well, the Washington State game in Pullman was super fun as well, so, you know, I can't complain too much, you know, I'm always a glass half full kind of guy. I don't like to look at things like as a pessimist and you know it's so easy for me to do that right now because of you know all the curveballs getting thrown my way everything that's you know been a strike and I've been looking swinging you know like there has been so much room for pessimism and for me to be down on myself but I refuse to be like that I refuse to be brought down because this is life man like think about it think about it right you're living your life why would you want to be upset and pissed off at yourself all the time? Why would you not want to be happy, strive for goals, and work hard to make sure that you get the life you want? That is the life I live. That is the life I think you guys should live. Everybody should be really happy with where they're at and should be striving to be the best person 
that they can possibly possibly be and that's what I try to do every single day even though I have seizures even though I have accidents you know I still go to work every day with a smile on my face I still wake up every morning with a smile on my face because I know I want to do better I know that today is gonna be better than tomorrow and you got to make every day like it's your last because you never know how many days you got left on this planet and you never know what happens after you know everything ends up being a wrap so I just want you guys to be positive. I want you guys to be excited for more Troop Talks content coming up. And oh yeah, speaking of Gardner Minshew, go report the video I have in the community tab as well. Someone legitimately just stole my Gardner Minshew Jags Origins video. Like legitimately like just downloaded it onto their computer and just re-uploaded it. So make sure you go report that video. Make sure that video gets taken down because that is my video, not his video. But again, guys, make sure you stay up, make sure you stay positive, make sure that, you know, no matter what, you go through life with a smile on your face because you never know when things can end and you never know what happens when things do end. Thank you guys so much for watching this little life update. If you guys haven't already, you can check the links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel not six days a week anymore you know i i've been getting a little cocky i've been saying six days a week for a long time but you know it hasn't been six i'm gonna say four i drop videos on this channel four days a week ain't nobody at work with me them just straight facts thank you guys so much for watching this life update video stay tuned tomorrow for a jags versus broncos game preview stay tuned wednesday for the picks stay tuned thursday for the crew cast and stay tuned sunday for the what happened this week game when we beat the denver broncos and i give you my little initial recap thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always you guys have a great rest of your day